Hi everyone, welcome to this video. Uh, I'm gonna show you my round 5 game here now. Um, as I played against um, a woman, so I, I was on uh, 1 out of 4 when this happened, and uh, she was also on 1 out of 4. So uh, I, I was really looking forward to winning or doing something. Not that I was really trying or whatever, but yeah. Uh, so I had white, and, and maybe you, you you think like, wait, but we, we've seen this game before, yeah, and it, it was. Uh, very similar to the game um, in round one, where I um, only that here actually she decided to um, not to play bishop g7 like my previous opponent did. Maybe it wasn't the exact same position, but uh, it would have been the same. Um, so after h5, she decided to play g5, which weakens f5 a lot. So um, she was actually forced to play queen d7 here, and after a few more moves. Um, we come to this very interesting position um, where actually I could have won on the spot. So, um, if you want to try to treat this as a puzzle, go ahead. And uh, I mean, I don't have to say pause the video. You can pause the video anytime you like. I'm gonna show you the solution right now. And the solution is Bishop F5, and uh, it's quite a fancy uh, tactic here. So if she takes, then um, this is just mate basically. So I'm, I'm um, threatening mate on c7, and the only way she can stop it is uh, queen e5, where I won uh, the queen for two minor pieces and an ongoing attack. So the, the king is just unsafe there. Unfortunately, I didn't find this. Um, what I played isn't bad or anything, but uh, yeah. So, um, the only interesting one here is, um, I think it was something like, so if you take, that's already bad, but if you then, if you try to take this one, um, yeah, you can just, um, just take, I think queen takes is also bad, not bad, right? Okay, this is actually not so good, yeah. E takes is better. Oh yeah, 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 exactly, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, that, that's the point. E takes F4, and now you're actually winning the bishop uh, as well. So, um, no, or not losing your bishop in any case, so. But yeah, you're actually winning a piece again, yeah, F5. So there is this really cool pin here. And in the end, I'm, uh, I'm a piece up. And not, it's not just a piece. I mean, you can see that obviously I'm a lot better than that. So, but I didn't do this. So, so castles long. I um, I just played it very very safely. So just king b1. And now what she did was um, yeah, it was a mistake here. So queen d6, and I, um, maybe you can treat this one as a puzzle as well. Wait, no. Um, yeah, queen d6. Um, it's it's kind of a complicated variation, and, and I honestly haven't seen the whole thing, but knight f takes d5 is the right move here, and I did play this this time. So um, the only interesting move here which poses me any ch challenges is queen takes, d, um, queen takes g3. But now I have this Zwischenschach, as the Germans would say. Knight e7 check, king c7. And now I take the queen. Actually, this knight now cannot be captured. I, I I saw this far that this knight now will take an f5. I was trying to figure out what happens if um, if uh, he plays, uh, sorry, she plays uh, rook e8. Um, but it turns out that it's it's actually quite good here for me. So uh, I'm I'm two pawns up at the moment. She can win one back by bishop takes e3. Um, but uh, I can just... Um, actually, I, I was thinking during the game, so, so I, I saw this far, and I was thinking d5 here. But actually what the computer suggests is just... Uh, just taking one of these pawns, like I, I have a choice, but actually I think it's. 
Yeah, so rookie two. And if you if you if you want to take this, then actually uh, I have um, a kind of a kind of a cool little skewer skewer thing. So I'm attacking both of these pieces at the same time. Um, but uh, yeah, not the main point. The point is that uh, it works. Yeah, and I I saw that it works. I was pretty sure it was it 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 was working. I didn't see all the variations literally, but yeah, I, the point is I'm winning a bunch of pawns. And uh, she saw this. She she just said, okay, she's not gonna try to exchange queens here. She just played bishop f8. I will turn off this because it will be embarrassing at some point. Uh, queen d6. Knight f takes d5, and now she just played bishop f8. So I can actually exchange queens here, but um, not as good as uh, as I can. So I, um, yeah, I mean that would imply um, me going back to f4, and then she can take and maybe do something. I'm not sure. Uh, pretty sure that's also a win. But I just went back, and I think that's the right decision. I. I don't like this attitude of like, oh yeah, let's exchange queens, it's too complicated. Um, knight f4, knight b6. Uh, this is also a bad move, so I mean, she was obviously a bit shocked by the move. So, uh, um, because, I mean, after this, I just take the, the bishop. And I took the bishop. And now bishop, uh, queen f4, and uh, I'm winning another pawn. So this is two pawns now. Knight d7. Of course, I'm a threat. I was threatening bishop takes f5, winning the queen, so she didn't want that. I took with the queen now, not because I wanted to exchange queens, but because actually I was afraid a bit of queen c4, so I didn't want that, and uh, yeah, it seemed like an easy solution. Queen f5. Now it was her her um, turn to to um, reject the queen exchange. Queen f7, and now I took another pawn. So now I'm three pawns up. I have all my pawns, and she has these split ugly pawns everywhere with no attack inside. So how did I lose this game? <laughs> I still don't understand. I think she played a great game from here on. So I, 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 said, I said to her, you played a great game except for the first 20 moves. Which, I mean, normally it should be enough. When Black plays really bad chess for 20 moves, then you're supposed to uh, punish her. Yeah, so, um, um, rook g8. Um, okay, uh, queen h3. I'm still covering everything. Um, nothing to see here. Move along, and so on. And now it's uh, it's starting. Yeah, bishop b4. I said, yeah, okay. Uh, actually, now that I'm thinking about it... Uh, why can't I play knight e4? I don't know. Uh, can't I play knight e4? With the idea c3 next? If she takes, then of course I have knight uh, d6 check. It's probably very good for me. Oh, yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I mean, in the worst case scenario, she wins the exchange. But I'm, I mean, I'm, I have all these pawns here, so... Having all eight pawns is a big deal. F5. Uh -huh. Okay, well, yeah, this this would have been a lot less drama than what I did during the game. And uh, I'm pretty sure, actually, it's... It's kind of, uh, you know, exchanging... Uh, sorry, sacrificing the exchange is something that um, works a lot. Because it's kind of... It's an unexpected move, and often it's, it's just not a big deal. So, in this case, F5... Knight g3, it wants to play, just takes, and I guess I just take and win another pawn, I guess. I was gonna take with the. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So now I'm four pawns for the exchange, and I think I can just. Probably at some point with these bishops, I will get. I will win another exchange, but. I will win uh, an exchange back, but even if not, then pretty sure this is a very good position. So just just simplifying the whole thing, and as you can see, I have all my pawns in the right place. This is what I should have done. Yeah, I just I just realized it right now, literally. Okay, bishop b4. Sadly, it's not. Yeah, so actually, I did play what the computer wants me to play. So bishop f5, kind of. 
piling on D7. So um, I thought, okay, I, I don't really care. So knight, bishop takes c3, I said, oh wait, she can play queen c4 next. <coughs> I don't want her queen around my king, so I'm just gonna play bishop e6, efficient zug, intermediate move. Bishop e6, queen e7, b takes c3. You know, I thought, yeah, I mean, yeah, queen a3, that's awesome, but I mean, what exactly are you gonna do? But now, yeah, it was um, a bit annoying for me that I, yeah, so rook g5 is a bit annoying, right? So now now this might be dangerous. Actually, it's not that dangerous, but it might be. So I, I found the following move, and I, I'm, I'm still quite proud of this. So d5, and whatever uh, she does now, next next move I'm playing f4, and this, this rook is stuck, so it can't come into the play here and this rook is also a bit stuck right so I, it's basically game over here d5 she played queen a3 and now f4 so this rook is just stuck it's it's not gonna do anything and now this is the the moment where i, I made my biggest biggest blunder basically of the tournament even though i'm not losing on the spot or anything but it's really something i shouldn't have done and the move is d takes c6 so this is i mean on the face of it a really really bad move so my idea was oh i'm gonna pile up on this knight here which is awesome but the problem is that i'm opening up the b file why would i open up the b file unless i see a win this is just suicide chat so it's not it's still winning if you ask the computer it's still winning for me but you don't open up a file when it's open and it's 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 half open now and your king is on it. You have no pieces around your king at all. And this is what you do. Okay, so uh, rook g6, rook g7, um, d takes c6. So actually a very easy way of this would have been rook d1 first. This is a lot stronger now. So rook d1. And of course, the, the whole idea was queen c3, but now it's very easy to repel this thing, yeah. So this is my variation I wrote down. Um, check. And yeah, just rook b3. And how exactly are you going to attack my king now? Um, and now the other rook also comes into the to play. And, yeah, and, and I'm pretty sure she would resign here. Um... I mean, yeah, look at this. Again, yeah, like a huge advantage for me. Yeah, not sure what to say. So this this would have been a very, very easy way. I mean, not not necessarily this, but yeah, rook d1, definitely a very, very good move here. Yeah, it's just not gonna happen. Yeah, actually, yeah, it's, I even have a better better continuation, but it's good enough the way it is, right? And the main point is here, I'm controlling the B uh, the B file, not her, not she. Okay, so um, you can see that this B takes C6 is also winning, and yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna keep um, keep this engine on. So now B takes C6, and I played E4, which is actually not a bad move. Yet, because I, I, I basically open up my queen to protect c3. And um, she played queen c, king c7 indeed. And now my best move is, yeah, bishop b3 or whatever. I'm just going to show you what I did, which I thought was okay. So king b1 with the idea of um, bringing the rook to the b file. But this is actually a draw now, I think, as far as I know. It's, it's way too complicated now to show you everything. Um, um, it, it's a draw, but uh, actually what she did was very imaginative. She just said, you know what? Yeah, this queen is annoying me. It's in the wrong spot, so I'm just going to sacrifice a rook. It's actually very scary. Because now she's threatening to, to take with check and, and rook b8, right? Um, it's not that simple. Because I, I still have my bishop b3 move. So I, I, I kind of have to take. 
And I mean, you can see that it's actually not working, but it, it was very scary at the time. Queen c3, check. King b1, knight c5. And okay, um, you know, actually, let's stop the computer for a while because actually it's very, very pretty. Uh, so she's threatening to come in with rook d2, right? So I thought, okay, you know what? Um, I have this check. I can give this check now, which is good. It's, it's not bad. Uh, queen g7, queen b6, king b6, sorry. And now bishop b3. And now she, she played rook d2. So what do you do? Uh, she's threatening. Actually, she's. it's not very clear what she's threatening, right? Um, but I should have seen it. I should have seen it. Um, the, what is she threatening and how do you react? Um, so, I mean, the, uh, the, the obvious threat is knight takes b3 and then queen takes c2, right? But there's another threat and I didn't do it. So I, I played rook c1 here. And why is this losing for why? <laughs> I can't believe that I lost here. So yeah, rook c1. I played this instantly. This was one of my real problems. Uh, well, I, I should have just sat down and thought, look, is this holding? I had a bad feeling about this. And it's not holding at all. Yeah, she has the following move. Knight d3. And she's threatening mate in two different ways. So uh, either queen b2 mate or c takes d3. And the way I can avoid this, so it's a hard move to find, but it's queen b1. It's oh, sorry, queen g1. And this knight is pinned for the moment. For this one instant, it's actually pinned. And now if... Um, Queen b5, uh, king b5 is uh, the only way. I think it is the only way. But yeah, let, let, let's do this. Um, a4 check is uh, is the same thing, but rook e3 now. So now, um, yeah. So so now I'm attacking the queen. So and um, knight d3 I can take with the rook now. Um, and uh, yeah, the game's over. Yeah, I, I'm a rook up. <laughs> it was this easy, actually. So this was, uh, I was kind of mesmerized by this whole attack. And I said like, okay, rook c1, and now now it's it's all covered. But I should have just taken yeah a little bit more time. So after, is it, this is, yeah, this is a serious problem, of course. So this is in a way a blunder, but it's also like, it's also like a forced error. I wouldn't call it an unforced error, like a real blunder, I think. She did play very impressively, um, although, yeah, yeah, I, sh I should see it, so I am a bit disappointed in me, but, uh, but yeah, so, I mean, as I said, I really sat there for most of this game and tried to calculate everything, I just couldn't do it, I was, was just not sharp enough, so, yeah, I, I think that, that is something that can happen to you. After knight d3, it's actually not mate, because I can take this pawn. With a queen, so giving up a whole queen now. Now she's still she's still still threatening mate, so I needed to play e5, which gives up two pawns, two more pawns. So uh, queen takes e5, and now actually the best way of playing this. So now it's rook and bishop against the queen, and equal number of pawns. Believe it or not, I was three pawns up, but it's all gone. Um, the best way would have been bishop c2, keeping the pair of rooks, because they can coordinate better, I think. And uh, But I, I played rook c2, she took, I took. But yeah, this, this actually she won pretty easily. h6, good move, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to show you the rest of the, this game. She won in, in about... Uh, eight more moves. Um, um, it doesn't really matter. She came with a with a king, threatened mate, and in the end she won my rook. Um, it's it's not not easy to do it. So I mean, it was a very interesting game. I mean, probably probably honestly the most interesting game I've played in a long time. Um, of course, it's one version of events, and 
objectively this is what happened is that um, I totally blew it I, I was winning and I messed it up uh, this is what I mean the computer would just show you like plus three plus four for me the whole time and then suddenly it's like why did you move that you were winning uh, but yeah it, it's just not how chess works so um, I had a few moments in which I could have avoided all this so actually I think knight e4 was the easiest one and I should have just gone for that knight e4 and I actually that that actually just keeps the initiative so clearly my pieces are better than her rooks like what are her rooks actually doing in this position I think this, this would have been very very clean and very like it's almost like um, you know like a very clinical way of playing that's very very much in control if I didn't go for this I actually like this f4 move very very much and now um, d takes c6 was really bad yeah so rook d1 I like a lot yeah it, it, this is not a hard one to see, uh, not a hard defense to see, and it's something to keep in mind for myself, I guess, in the future. But yeah, I think it's also, so she also played very impressively after about 20 moves, as mentioned. And she she said, like, <laughs> of course, so, so she, she was, uh, so I told her, like, wow, you're like, this is amazing by you, like, great game. And she said, yeah, well... <laughs> Normally I don't play like this, but today I was inspired or whatever. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it can happen. She played a great game, but I mean, still, um, I had... It's an understatement to say I had my chances. Yeah, I was totally winning for most of this game, and I, I should have just uh, paid more attention, I guess. Or, Yeah, uh, Yeah. well, thanks for watching, and this was round five. I, I think it was a lot of fun playing this game. Even after the game, I, I, I kind of feel, felt a, kind of a mixture of terrible and exhilarated because I, I knew it was kind of a special game. <laughs> I don't know. Probably I'm overstating all this, but um, but yeah, I, I, I was actually like, I, I, I was actually kind of having fun. It was, yeah, although yeah, having one out of five is never really fun per se. And uh, four out of five were um, on paper weaker than me. So, not exactly fun, but um, interesting, definitely. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and um, see you around for the next two rounds. I think I'm going to do them both.